here in the uh, second Living in Society case, in the top row, we have this series of extraordinary black points. They come from a, Hope, a series of Hopewell sites and were probably made between about 100 BC and 500 AD. Uh, they are extraordinary for a number of reasons. First of all, they're large size. Well, and what they're made of. These are made from uh, obsidian, a black volcanic glass, and chemical studies done on these show that they come from obsidian cliffs. That's 1,800 miles away in, in Yellowstone Park. They are made in just the same way as flint is chipped. Uh, but given the size and thinness of these blades, uh, it's obvious that we are seeing the handiwork of master uh, flint knappers. Well, and many of these were found at the Hopewell Mound Group, and in one of those mounds, archaeologists found a large quantity of the chippage or waste flakes from making these. So apparently the raw obsidian chunks were brought from Wyoming and these objects were made right there at the Hopewell Mound Group. But the, the fact that this material came from such a long distance it involved quite a trek to get the material here, the fact that it, these points are so large uh, would suggest that uh, these were not made for everyday hunting and butchering, but probably for special occasions. And they are impressive.